Here's our basic A stable, flashing on and off or oscillating about once per second. The speed is governed by these resistors here and whatever capacitors in that place there. I can remove this more easily than the resistors, so I'll take this 47 microfarad capacitor out and replace it with a 10 microfarad. I need to see with the grey stripe. Grey stripe goes into ground, pop that in there, and we should see an immediate increase in speed. This is a 10 microfarad. I can change it again to a 1 and this will mean that to our naked eye it's not possible to see the change. I was surprised to see on the camera that we still can because the camera is taking frames at a time so you can actually see that it's still working but if I drop down to a 0.068 capacitor by the way when we give these out to children they still think that they these legs have to go in the same holes as the electrolytic did when they're closer together and they end up mangling the legs on the capacitor I so wish they wouldn't do that this one will need to go in the next hole up because it's wider and now even on camera we cannot see any difference you would think that the circuit had stopped working our eyes can only really see rapid changes up to about 80 times per second however our ears are much better at discerning change. If I replace the, electro, the LED with an audio device, in this case a Pizzo sounder, we can immediately tell that the circuit is still working. We've now modified our basic uh, speeded up A stable and added a light dependent resistor. They're called LDR for short. They used to come in this size, my diagrams feature these, but nowadays we can get much smaller ones which fit more neatly on the breadboard. Now what this will do is, when we run our fingers or hands in front to vary the light intensity, the, the pitch will vary. And as I demonstrate now, children's ears are very sensitive they can hear a wide, wide range of frequency variation which doesn't show up particularly well on the microphone or my camera. But they've also got extremely vivid imaginations and I've always found the much younger groups, when you mention Star Wars and Jedi powers, they seem to rise to the occasion. They love it and let's face it, anything that we can do to encourage younger children to become involved in electronics can surely only be a good thing.